welcome back to the channel. My name is Russell. I'm a runner based in Malaysia. In this video, we're going to discuss about a way that helps us to run faster and longer. I'm going to share with you my 6 month running experience where I improved from running 1km at 8 minute and 30 second pace to now where I can run 1km at 6 minute and 30 second pace easily without feeling tired. So let's begin. To start with the videos, I want to mention one misconception every beginner runner, including myself, will have is that we will think if we want to improve our speed and run more distance, we need to run faster and harder every time in our training routine. Actually, this is a huge mistake that every beginner runner is doing. For me, I kind of affected by comparing myself to others runner. Some of the runners can run 5 minutes per kilometer pace like a piece of cake. I saw that they can do it, so I think I can do it as well. But when I give all of my effort in my run, I'm only able to run a maximum of 7 minutes per kilometer pace and I was extremely exhausted and tired after the run. At the time, I was feeling a bit weird. Why some people can actually run 5 minutes per kilometer pace in a relaxed mode and you look at me, I almost pass out only running a 7 minute per kilometer pace. But I actually forget something. Instead, they put in a tons of hard work and training to get there. And the best part is, we can do it as well. Let me explain. To understand distance running, we actually need to know how our body support us to run long distance like marathon, half marathon, 10 km, 5 km. For all this long distance run, what we actually need to prepare our body until it's able to handle this mileage. So let's make sure that we all understand about the basics of running. In theory, long distance run is an aerobic exercise, which means our body utilizes oxygen to generate power that allows us to carry out the activities. When we run, our body will efficiently use the oxygen we breathe in throughout the exercise period to power the muscle to sustain us during our run. And in this whole process, we are utilizing our aerobic system. Aerobic system is the core foundation for all of the runners. It is an important base that we all need to build if we want to run a strong, fast and long distance. When our body have a strong aerobic fitness, we can have the ability to generate large amount of energy with the oxygen that we consume into our body from the environment. And that is also why we see some people can run in a 4 minute per kilometer pace easily and some people can only maintain a 7 minute per kilometer pace without feeling tired. But but comparing our pace to other runners is not something that we want to do all the time because we all have different level of aerobic fitness which means our body will generate energy with oxygen in a different level of efficiency. As a result, we all run comfortably in a different pace. So the more important question is how we train and improve our aerobic fitness. People that can run a fast long distance, they all have amazing aerobic fitness which allow them to generate power with oxygen in a fast pace. Aerobic fitness is something take years to accumulate and build. It is not like bodybuilding where we can see the muscle grow on our body. Building aerobic fitness is something happen inside our body where only we can know the improvement and it takes years of consistency and discipline training to build. One of the way we all as a runner can improve our aerobic fitness is by doing easy run. Easy run is where the run is conducted in an easy effort. So the definition for easy effort is different for runners across different level. If you just start running, your easy effort can be really slow. But if you're already running for several years and establish a strong pace, your easy effort can be fast but comfortable for you. The ideal criteria runner used to measure their easy effort run is heart rate and feeling. When we are running our easy effort run, we should always maintain our heart rate at around zone 2 and 3, which is 60 to 70% of our maximum heart rate. To get our maximum heart rate, we can use this technique. For example, my current age is 20 years old. Using the most basic formula, 220 minus 22 will get my maximum heart rate of 198 and 60 to 70 percent of my maximum heart rate is around 119 to 138. So when I'm running my easy effort run, I should always control my heart rate at around 119 to 138 no matter what is the pace I'm running. But for most of the runners, we don't usually spend money invest in the professional tools like a chest wrap to track our heart rate. Most of the time, we just use our running watch. But but sometimes the accuracy of running watch might be off. So another way to make sure that our easy run is not going beyond easy effort is by checking on our feeling. Many runners also like to call easy run being a conversational run where during our easy run, we must can have a conversation without feeling lack of breath. Whether we talk to a friend or we just filming ourselves talking to the camera or we sing along our run. If we can have word out of our mouth and still maintain the current pace that we are running, 
as the sign to confirm our easy run is easy and comfortable for us. Easy run seems to be a really simple exercise where we just have to go out and run in a really slow pace. But we all make that mistake before where we cannot stay disciplined and leave our ego behind to really control our pace and stay in an easy effort zone, which result in our easy run being too fast. I experienced this scenario several times before where I just feel really fresh during my easy run. Ends up, I increase my speed. At the end of the workout, my heart rate was high like crazy and I feel really exhausted. That is something should not happen after we finish our easy run. When we finish our easy run, we should feel light, relaxed, heart rate should be low and we should feel really energized afterward. If the pace we are doing our easy run feel hard for us, we should just slow down to a pace that we can comfortable handle. Always remind ourselves we are not here doing easy run to break our personal best. We are here to build a strong foundation that allow us to chase our personal best in the future to come. I believe if we run our easy run in the right way, we will become a more faster and more endurance runner in no time. To summarize up the video, as a runner, we should slow down our run to build our aerobic fitness if we want to run a more faster and longer distance. According to my own knowledge, runners are preferred to run 80% of the total weekly mileage in an easy effort. And remember during our easy run, always maintain a conversational pace. And if the run is a bit hard for us, try to slow it down, be patient, be disciplined. If we can stay consistent during our easy run, it will help us improve to become a better runner over time. And that's it for today's video. If you found some value from the videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more running content. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.